Hello you, it's my yard here. Welcome to the channel. This is AEW Elite General Manager, the beta. Uh, I was very fortunate to get lucky access early for this game. I was able to stream it last night, and I want to show you the ins and outs of the online aspect of the game, which is probably the core focus um, from what I can tell. So you basically face another human being, and you have four weeks to get the most powerful roster and stars and coins and popularity the usual thing you need to be the better show between you and your opponent and you start off with 200,000 coins and a million in popularity and you want to get as much more coins as possible and as much more popularity I'm in blue you can see the red is the opponent so you buy wrestlers first they range between 10 and 35,000 coins the bigger wrestlers, the more powerful uh, popularity guys like Kenny Omega, Cody Rhodes costs a lot more compared to uh, someone like uh, Marco Stunt or uh, Peter Avalon for instance. So they all cost different amounts. But you have to budget because when you get to the next screen you have matches. So you do not want to use all 200,000 coins on wrestlers. I would recommend probably about half to begin with. Um, you want at least 30,000 coins to be able to do one-on-one -on -one matches. They cost 10,000 each. You have three matches each week, and you have a backstage um, segment. That's the two things you need to worry about. If you don't do a backstage segment, you don't really get any bonuses. If you don't do three matches, you're going to lose a lot in popularity. So you obviously want to use all three matches wherever possible. If that means you have to use the same superstar twice, that will be the case. But then that loses them stamina, that could lose morale, and that could affect your popularity as well. So I've decided for this example, I've chosen all female wrestlers. There's no intergender on Elite General Manager at the moment in this beta. That could change. So I've gone full uh, Brandy Rhodes, Anna Jay, Britt Baker, and, and Penelope Ford for a four-way match. And then match number three. And you're time limited as well. You can see top right corner of the screen, a countdown. You get three minutes. It's a three minute warning, about 150 seconds, to make the three matches. 1v1 matches are the basic, the 10,000 coins. Uh, tag teams with four ways cost more money, but they will get more popularity because there's more superstars in them. You can see that, that little bar system on the right that shows. Rough idea. It also means stamina and stuff as well. But it gives you a good idea on how much popularity you can potentially get. So it's always better to try and go for multi-man matches over 1v1s where possible. There is exceptions to the rules with gimmicks. I'm giving Brandy Rose the, the truck here. Because it can do special things. There are one-off things. You can use microtransactions to get more gimmicks. When you go through career mode, you'll be able to unlock more of these gimmicks as well. Um... 300% team victory chance. The wrestler has in one match. Ooh. Plus 300% is a lot. So pick the gimmicks. We've got 90 seconds left. Then we choose a segment. Now, you do not need coins left to do the segments. You can use popularity in exchange to boost your wrestler's stats. But losing popularity is one of the things to win against your opponent. So do you want to risk that? It's the risk-reward factor of it. Week one, you probably want to use your whole budget, try and get as many wrestlers, and then as you progress into two, three, and four, you get a bit more wrestlers, and then go for the bigger match types. That's how I felt from playing it. I've won the two, three matches so far, um, and it's about 15 minutes probably to do four weeks. We're ready. We're just waiting on the opponent at this point. Again, time tickling down, 45 seconds. Once the time runs out, that's it. They can't do anything else. We can see from the, the review, we've got a 1v1 at the top, a 1v1 in match 2, a 1v1 in match 3, with two gimmicks lined up, ready to go, and ready to inflict as much possible damage so the public can like us. Oh, yes. And the opponent's ready up. So here we go. Loading up. Art style. I'm quite enjoying the art style. Sakura going there. Boom. Punching. Big kick in the face, and you've fallen, and lost. Oh yes. Second match, but never before getting these D20s. Hitting Anna Jay in the D20s. Anna Jay's having none of it all. And Penelope Ford is down. Three can fall. And for the main, <laughs> Thumbtacks Anna Car. Hmm. 
<laughs> Britt Baker's got locked jaw. Locked in. Undefeated Britt Baker. There may be a recurring theme for that. So, we can see stats being affected with hospitality for that match as well. Up at the top, we see our opponent got more. Uh, use less money, but also gain more money. So they're 104th compared to our 64. They have far more popularity than us at the minute. 200,000. So we need to step it up a bit. We're going to have to do some tag team matches to get some more popularity. So we're using the existing wrestlers we've got. We can buy more wrestlers at any time, providing we've got the funds. So we're just doing the four-way first. Again, 180 seconds, three minutes to do all of this, I think, which is ample time. 1v1s, tag teams, there's four ways, there's six man. There's no three ways at the minute. Quite odd. Uh, Eight-man matches, ten-man matches... Two uh, triple tornado tags. Obviously, those ones cost a lot more money to, to pull off. But you will get a lot of popularity from it as well. You have to also have to be worried about people getting injured. If you use them too much, the blue gauge between each superstar icon, each wrestler's icon, is their stamina. If that gets too low, they're more prone to injury. They will turn orange completely if they've got a minor injury. And a major injury, I think they go red. However, in the beta... You're able to still select them with a big injury, so I don't know if they need to be like really, 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 really hurt for them to not be selectable. But I was able to use someone an in injury and still use them for, for all three matches back to back. So it's a beta. Things are subject to change all the time, but for what it is right now, it's a pretty good going for what what it is. To be honest, we've got a tag team, a one v one, and the six man. We haven't really bought anyone. We're just going to ready up, but we're using a spa day, so people that are doing double duty they're going to be able to gain some of their stamina up again and make sure they feel nice and refreshed and don't get injured so and it's cost us well, a little bit of popularity i think with the spa day i don't think there's a money element i think it's popularity uh sixty thousand coins a thought yeah 2040 yeah it has to be had to cost me a little bit of money, but it's okay. We'll, we'll be fine. 60 seconds for Cobble to get out. There's not much else you can do. Once you've readied up, you just have to wait for your opponent. It's a little bit complicated because obviously it's a beta. There's no full tutorials as such. The career mode is basically a tutorial at the moment, explaining what does what. But for this online aspect, it doesn't explain the, the phases of picking up people, superstars, waiting, etc. And what the top board means. The top board is self-explanatory to see what is what. Here we go. We don't get to see our opponent's show either, which I feel may be a little bit off. I think you should be able to see what your opponent is pulling off as well. Tag team match. And a kick. Oh, countered. Penelope Ford with the win. Randy Rose, but Breaker, rematch. And again, getting locked, George. Oh, nasty. Little graphical bug here because Lockjaw wasn't shown as a proper finisher, so this she wins twice. And then into a six way, the chains by Britt Baker. And then she's gonna get Lockjaw again. That gimmick helped her win the match. Helping certain wrestlers um have additional traits may also mean they actually get bonus for your popularity, more coins, etc. Champions have extra advantages as well. Kenny Omega has something different. Uh, Miwa has something different. Uh, Shida has something different. And that's how it works. It's, it's, it's pretty straightforward. We're on the week three. 1.47 million popularity. We have 196,000 coins. So we can now realistically buy some more female wrestlers. We could buy male wrestlers. It doesn't have to be um, female-centric. We can choose a mix of, but like I say, there's no intergender matches, and for the purpose of the live stream, I wanted to just focus on, on the female roster. So there's male. Some people don't have uh, superstar renders yet. That will change. Again, it's a beta, so they will be added in due course. They are still fully playable in the beta either way. There is Lever Brits, Lever Brits, Blue Pants, uh, Marco Stunt, no, a female. Uh, who else have we got? I think most of the people we've picked at this point. There's a refresh button above sign. That means I can go through it. Oh, Chris Statlander. Yes, absolutely. Can't forget about her. And, and the refresh button just means you can see a new selection of people each time. Uh, it can be certain people that you've not picked. 
and then you just go and again pick the three matches you want. So, tag team, using people we've not used, Big Swall. You see, oh, Penelope Ford's got a little bit of an injury. That's not helpful. There's. Who have we picked? Statlander. Who else are we going to pick? I can't remember. Oh, there we go. Right, we've done tag team. We want to build up the popularity because we're still behind. Because you can see 1.47 million to 1.52 million for the opponent. Um, has more coinage than me as well. So we want to obviously boost it. But we've got to spend money to get the popularity up as well. But the popularity also increases the money to Britt Baker in the main event. Who is she going to face? Oh, Mel. Oh, it's going to be a squash match. Okay. <laughs> and what are we going to pick for the second match? Big tag team? Four-way? Four-way is probably the best option here because we've already done a tag team, but there's no real repetition penalty that I can see by doing the same match type for each of these three matches. So the main things you need to make sure, make sure you've got at least 30,000 coins, no matter what, so you're able to do three 1v1 matches, no matter what, if you keep buying people for your roster. Then make sure you want to have maybe an extra 50,000 or 25,000 for the segment uh, to be able to boost your popularity. You've got the um, 30,000 coins there, there's leaks of the dirt sheets to hurt your opponent's show as well, which costs 50,000 coins. So you want to keep some of that budgeting purposes for your saviour in winning the match of all because the ultimate goal is to beat your opponent and right now I'm not beating him I have less coins I have less popularity I am not doing very well but we're in the week three let's see the tag team matchup we have Chris Statlander hitting Big Swall tagging in oh killing Chris pretty much and getting the victory on the second match take Conti there and Anna J double duty there's Brandy there too, and Tay gets the victory. That makes oh, double hits. And the finale is pretty much a squash match. It's Britt Baker with another locked jaw in the main event. Ding, ding, ding. Now, what does the popularity state for us? Match one, tag team, 307. Match two, 4 439. 1v1 only got 196. So we are very close. We gained a little, quite a bit of money there. Um, and we didn't use as much money as our opponent, even though they gained more money. So we're very closely matched when it comes to the last, last week where we need to put the pedal to the metal. So this is where we probably want to do a big, big match. We've got nine people. Why not do a 5v5? We've got 10. Yeah, let's just... We've got 11 people on the roster. Let's do it. Let's put them all in there. Let's do it. We've got a little bit of injury for Yuka, but everyone else is pretty fine, and it's the final week. We don't have to worry about them getting injured anymore. Let's just add them all in. Again, getting all 10 people onto there in 180 seconds. It's plenty of time. Then we get into match number two. 50,000 coins as well to do this 10-man um, tag, so you needed to budget yourself. I've already used a third of my budget. So let's do a six-man, six-way match-up. Again, let's just do double duty, do the big matches. We could have done, of course, three 5v5s. We could have gone that route. We didn't have anything for a segment, though. Uh, so we've used 190,000 coins at the minute. If we choose to sign anyone else, let's just see if we can get anyone else just to, for a bit of variety. No, it's not refreshing. Okay. No more for superstars to look at for the final week. And let's see what will we pick for the number three. We've got we've used eighty thousand so far. This will use up a hundred thousand. That leaves us fifty thousand for a certain beautiful segment. Maybe it doesn't matter. I think if it's in what order you put them. There's not a main event as such. It's just match one, two, and three, which comes in handy for this leak to the dirt sheets. Fifty thousand coins. Shat slander the integrity of a match in the opposing show. Now you can make the best match the first match. I've made the dirt sheets be match number three. So if he's put his big heavy gunner 5v5 or big big match in that slot, then he's not going to get as close to the viewership as he would like to have compared to like a 1v1. There's a little bit of craziness involved. And I think doing a pack war type thing of you and another streamer or another YouTuber or whatever doing head-to-heads against each other and seeing what they're doing 
could be very interesting indeed. Just to only seeing your side of thing is fine, but this has streaming potential and YouTube potential just facing off against each other in private matches if we can do that. Big five my match, Brandy, Chris, Big Swall and that won that one. Then we get into a six way match. Could this be Oh nailed Well it wasn't Brit there was it? Here's Brit here. The final, the main event, and she is already locked in another lockjaw. Brit keeps winning. Just keeps winning. Right, final. So we are calculating the results. Who has the best amount of people to win and ultimately decides their fate? Big gloves line. And it's me! I win! Woohoo! Let's see the results and find out what ultimately was the score on the doors. 743 on that 5-way, 625 on the 6-way, 529 on the that. That put us up to 2.1 million viewership and 230,000 coins there. So we win in two of the three categories. We didn't get the third category. We lost that one. But we won on everything else and that's all that matters. We win. And so... Either choose cheap guys to begin with and then do big multi-man matches or use your big guys and use that to start with and then bring the smaller guys in. You want a nice even spread in my opinion. But it's early days, it is a beta. We will see you very soon for more AEW. If you've got any questions for the general manager, please leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you next time. Take it easy. Bye bye.